trying to look out that window. It's really right outside. The film parallels is really a story about two brothers, one who shows obvious signs of being on the spectrum. Rick, we gotta go. And his older brother, and it's about their relationship to each other and to the world around them. Slate in, please. This is scene 15, take one. So the film was written by a group of young adults on the spectrum, and we tried to have every primary role on set that was uh, you know, performed by someone who was also on the spectrum. You up? Yeah. Oh, there you are. I am Joe Nath. My, I play the character of Rick, and I'm an actor. Why are we walking home from school? Why can't we just take the bus? I wanted to talk to you about what happened in the gym earlier today. And Rick has autism. And Rick has trouble fitting in in school and stuff, but Ray is always out there for him. But Ray, I actually have 72 Rick, cents. shut up. Me. Don't say shut up, Ray. So they have this brotherly bond, and it pretty much shows differences between them, but it also shows similarities to them, which is a main key component in the story. My name's Sam Tornabeni. I'm 16, um, and I also play Ray Mortimer, who's 16. I'm the older brother to Rick, and obviously I'm, I'm pretty concerned with keeping him safe and within the bounds that he needs to be in. I'm ordering pizza. What do you want? My name is Lisa Nath. I am the mother of two boys. Oh, Mom, I almost forgot. Tomorrow I have, tomorrow I have, um, that's my first day of gym. My 18-year-old is Jacob, and my 19-year-old is Joe, and Joe has autism. Autism is a neurological uh, disability it affects t children from all ages. Joe was not even two years old when he was diagnosed. I work in the field of advocacy and I work with some clients who are as old as their mid-30s and just being diagnosed. Some people live with it for a long time not realizing why they've been quirky. Others are so severely impaired that it's obvious from birth or at least from a very young age. Those are the lenses. Through time, patience, and therapy he has come an incredibly long Way. You want to sit here? Okay. Parallels is about kind of like a, a day in the life of these two teenage boys. One has autism, one does not. In the case of Parallels, it's the older sibling that is neurotypical and the younger sibling that has autism. Our family is reversed. What's your favorite class in school? Oh, um, definitely chemistry class. But it's kind of them talking to their guidance counselor at school. She's just talking about some of their similarities and some of their differences, what they like about each other, what they don't like about each other. Just pretty neat because it really reflects a lot of my house. Actually, my mom bought this shirt last Wednesday, or actually it was Wednesday night. And reading the script when Joe was going to audition for that, it, it really hit home because there are scenes in there even that just remind me exactly of our own house. We're gonna make believe because we're in acting class. So right now, let's go with feeling less secure, feeling less good about ourselves. Let's see where that comes. So no swag, Mr. Nath. In this class, Joe is m my only student on the spectrum. Uh, and that is something that uh, we don't always have. But Joe's one of those kids that when he came here, he was like, I don't wanna do that. I wanna just be in, in, this, in this class, in your regular evening classes. He came once and the kids love him and he, you know, there's no difference between Joe and the other students in my eyes or in the students' eyes. These are theater kids. So really, in, in the case of Joe, he's just a more eccentric theater kid, really. Uh, and he's fantastic. I don't know that we ever had an expectation when he was younger, like, oh, I think he's going to be an actor. We hope he can do this. We were just really hoping that he could make it through school and every other gift that comes our way, every other blessing is just icing on the cake at this point. Let's do a take, let's do a take right, and see what Tim has met. The whole inclusion thing for Parallels to me was just, uh, I don't even know how else to say it, except it was absolutely beautiful. To see a group of young adults on the autism spectrum coming together, collaborating, and creating something that was so outside the box in so many ways, I just feel like Joe's a great actor and he is very creative, but to have people who are on the autism spectrum writing about not only them, but to even branch out and give a sibling's point of view, I think is really amazing. 
Tell me something you like about your brother. Something I like about him? Is, yeah. is that what you asked me? Yes. Um, uh, you know, this is so random. My name is Jim Ledoux. I am a Pittsburgh area director of photography, and I'm also a board member uh, on the Arts for Autism Foundation. So we can actually have something to go back and reference. The notion of parallel, I think, is looking at, uh, at the life as lived by the two brothers, each of the two brothers independently. But I think in, in many, many ways, it really parallels the life of the group of students who wrote it, who all happen to be on the spectrum. Sorry about that. It's cool. I think the greatest challenge for me and for all of the industry professionals who worked on the film was to, you know, try and maintain that objectivity that this really is the vision of these young filmmakers. And how do we manage to guide them on set to technically proficient piece of work while not interrupting their flow. You know, it, it would have been very easy for this to become our film because we do this every day. But the notion of really committing ourselves to making this the vision of this group of young adults was, was I think, the greatest challenge. You're doing great. We just need, a, we just need that little that, that notice. As you look to her, you're surprised by it, so you look away. Very it was slow. important to me that Jared be given the opportunity to direct this film. It was originally his story concept. And although it really is the collective experience of a number of writers, it was Jared's vision. His autism is not a challenge. I think it's, it's something that he brings to the table and I think it makes him a more compelling and interesting storyteller and filmmaker. Hey, Rick. Hey, Wendy. Is that a new shirt? So I didn't think I'd be like directing as soon as I been after a little, a little over a year uh, pursuing film productions. It, it's, it's shocking, it's like hard to believe like, you know, that this all really happened so fast as it, as it has. Isn't it like as he's setting himself up there, he's like, he's, mm -hmm. yes. okay, that's fine. Yeah, I like that. So, Sam, uh, don't, go up the ramp, don't go up the steps. It looks like you're following him after you just had the argument. Just keep there. TV hasn't always had a false portrayal or movies in, haven't always had a false betrayal, but there are times where it's not completely accurate. And that this is a way of really showing like the functioning, that they, that they can go through a, a daily bout in their lives and things can be a little different and it wouldn't be a big issue. And, and that's one of the main goals of the film. I know that Jared has grown tremendously through this experience, professionally and, and just in self-confidence. And it has been wonderful to watch him blossom. I think just not the film, itself, but the process of the film and who made the film is what really sends the message. Just to know that there are no real disabilities. There are always possibilities. And the kids in this film, the talent is ridiculous. And it's honestly just beautiful when you see what can happen when people look past the disability and just give them a chance. Bye. I'm gonna so miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Hey, good luck for the rest of the day. Because when somebody thinks of a person with autism, that's all that they see. They don't see that they're also very, very skilled, functioning, good people to talk to. I hope that for anyone who has autism, just be yourself. Be yourself and always do your best in life, no matter what brings you down and no matter who, how many people knock you down. It's just keep working, keep working, and your work will pay off, I promise you. Thank you so much for being here. You guys were are right for the filming. And if you don't take just a couple minutes to get to know them, you're missing, you're missing so much.